Chad GPT just passed an MBA exams and the news is, you know, spreading once again. So basically, Chad GPT has been making headlines <laughs> since its release and it's adding more things to the capabilities or the things that it's capable of doing. So Chad GPT just passed an exams and this is like, wow. <laughs> I never knew that I would sit here and talk about a machine passing an exams. Like, what's left for humans, really? <laughs> I thought writing exams was a human thing. And well, here we are. Wait, is there still something left only for humans? Well, I guess we'll have to find out as artificial intelligence continues to unfold. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Nikki Verd and like I have said, we're having a conversation about ChatGPT passing on exams. What a time to be alive. Yes, it's official, ChatGPT. The open AI chatbot that is taking the world by storm has done the impossible and has passed an MBA exams with flying colors. Yes, you heard me right. This chatbot that is you know, has officially outsmarted humans in so many things, also sat for an exam and did great, actually. ChatGPT has been making headlines ever since it was released to the public. And ChatGPT is capable of doing so many things, you know, from composing poems, uh, writing stories, breaking down complex scientific concepts, and even creating malware, you know, that's like the dark side of it, but the list is endless. <laughs> We already know that ChatGPT can write business plans that would make Warren Buffett jealous and can write codes that will leave some programmers, you know, feeling speechless. We, we already knew that. And students have been using the chatbot to complete assignments, even though they have talks that they don't want it in school. But it also turns out that ChatGPT can write exams and pass. This is the sure sign of the potential of AI you know, and a warning of what's to come. Like I asked earlier, what's left for humans? Is there something still left just for humans? Or how did it actually happen in regards to ChatGPT passing an MBA? Well, uh, a professor at the Wharton School of Business, University of Pennsylvania, decided to test the capabilities of ChatGPT in an MBA exam to see just how far the chatbot could go. I guess he was really curious. So he enrolled the chatbot in an online MBA program and set it loose on the coursework. At first, you know, some other professors probably were very skeptical and like, no way an AI no chatbot can keep up with humans. You know, it would be lucky if it even passed. They kept wondering. But ChatGPT had other plans. It devoured the course material like a hungry college student at a buffet. And before long, it was acing exams left, right, and center. <laughs> the professor himself was amazed and, you know, fascinated by all of this. And so the real tests of the exams, maybe humans were like, mm, let's see if this thing can really beat us. They were biting their nails, somehow nervous, actually. But ChatGPT was as cool as a cucumber. <laughs> and it breezed through the exams, right? But at the, at the end of it, the professor said, not only are the answers correct, but ChatGPT's explanations are excellent. Yes, you heard that right. So ChatGPT basically impressed the professor with its advanced knowledge and insights. However, ChatGPT has a weakness, a weakness that many of us may relate to, and that is mathematics. ChatGPT is horrible at maths, according to this professor. And some people who have also tried exploring ChatGPT before have said the same thing, that ChatGPT is horrible with maths. And considering how many people in the world still struggle with maths, including myself, maybe we need to extend some grace <laughs> to ChatGPT. You know, I struggle with maths, so 
I guess I will let that one slide because there are other areas that ChatGPT is brilliant at and we can all attest to that. Hence the reason why it is so popular and, and the reason why it has the fastest rate of adoption in the history of technology. So we can let the math things slide, right? <laughs> Mathematics is a struggle for a lot of people. <laughs> what do we expect from a machine? Perfection? Nope. We all know that ChatGPT is still in its infancy and the present version of it is not capable of mathematics and handling more advanced process analysis questions and even when they are based on you know fairly standard templates there are certain things that ChatGPT is just not capable of at this moment uh, however this is just a start you know the platform will improve further massively so I believe so, taking everything into consideration, the university professor concluded that ChatGPT is remarkably good at modifying its answers in responses to, to human hints, right? So, in other words, in the instances where it initially failed to match the problem with the right solution or the right method, ChatGPT is able to self-correct after receiving an appropriate hint from a human expert. More like when you ask a question and it's not able to give you the right answer and then you rephrase it or you give it a better prompt, then it gives you a better answer, a more accurate answer. So it, it's, it, it's kind of, it's, it's learning as it goes, which is actually fascinating when you think about it. And if you've used ChatGPT, you know how accurate this is, you know, when you keep trying to get a particular response from it and it's failing and then you refresh it and then it gives you more of exactly what you were looking for. And so considering this performance, the professor at the university said that ChatGPT would have received a B grade on their MBA exams, which is the pass. It's not the best, but it's the pass. <laughs> But in my brain, ChatGPT graduated at the top of its class and was awarded an MBA with honors. But ChatGPT isn't done yet. With its newly minted MBA in hand, it promptly went out and landed a job as the CEO of a major corporation. So you better watch out. Watch out humans, ChatGPT is coming for everything. Not just for your job, but it's coming for your certificates as well. It's coming for your degrees and everything. And just like that, ChatGPT is living the high life, you know, and ranking in the big box. <laughs> so you better check and investigate. Just maybe your CEO isn't a real human. Maybe your CEO is ChatGPT with an MBA from Wharton Business School. Watch out, humans. <laughs> Watch out. We are living in scary times. So there you have it, folks. ChatGPT, the AI chatbot is now taking over the world, one exam at a time. And who knows what it will accomplish next. But one thing is for sure, we humans, we better watch out because ChatGPT is here to stay. Machines are coming for our jobs. Machines are coming for our degrees as well. Machines are coming for our MBAs as well. And this has an implication on the school system I believe but that is a conversation for another another day so thank you for watching <sighs> I'm still fascinated that I'm talking about a machine writing on exams however thank you for watching and looking forward to seeing you in my next video